Well, hi everyone, it's Greg coming here from Good News for Israel, and we're going to take five and Salah. Uh, we're continuing on this amazing journey uh, about Bethel and the importance of Bethel. I hope you're enjoying this because we're just exploring every part of Bethel and why it has been such a, a, a vitally important city in the, in the light of Abram and the covenant of God and, and the children of Israel. But today we're going to look at a bit of a sad story. This is the story of how Bethel went from being a very, very special place known as the house of God, Bethel, to being a place renowned for idol worship and apostasy. Can you imagine that? Uh, that's, that's where Bethel came to. After King Solomon, the king um, of, he was a king over all of Israel, he died. And Israel was split after that into two kingdoms, the northern kingdom of Israel consisting of ten tribes, the southern kingdom of, of Judah consisting of two tribes. And the king of Judah was Solomon's son, Rehoboam, who reigned from Jerusalem. But the first king of the new northern kingdom of Israel was Jeroboam, who reigned originally from Shechem. You can go back and find uh, that video back when we were talking about Shechem. And just to give you a bit of background knowledge, it's good to do. But to instigate a parallel system of worship to that of Judah in Jerusalem, King Jeroboam created uh, golden idols in the image of a calf a cow, a calf, and set them in temples at the northern and southern boundaries of his kingdom. The northern temple was built at Dan in the north. Um, where on earth would he put the southern temple? Well, he did it on that in that living city on the route from north to south in Bethel. Or Bethel. Because it was so strategically located on the border between Israel and Judah, uh, and so it was there that King Jeroboam built his southern temple and set up this uh, golden calf, probably with a shrine at the high place. Uh, he did this for the purpose of intercepting worshippers traveling to the temple in Jerusalem. We'll see in 1 Kings chapter 12 and verse 25. Then Jeroboam built uh, Shechem in the mountains of Ephraim and dwelt there. Also he went out from there and built Penuel. And Jeroboam said in his heart, now the kingdom may return to the house of David. If these people go up and offer sacrifices in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, then the heart of, his, of this people will turn back to their Lord, Rehoboam king of Judah, and they'll kill me and go back to Rehoboam king of Judah. Therefore the king asked advice, made two calves of gold, and said to the people, is it too much for you to go up to, it, sorry, it is too much for you to go up, put me to Jerusalem. Here are your gods, O Israel, which brought you up from the land of Egypt. And he set one up in Bethel, and the other one he put in Dan, and this became a sin. For the people went to worship before the one as far as Dan. He made shrines on the high places, and he made priests from every class of people who were not of the sons of Levi. Jeroboam ordained a feast on the 15th day of the 8th month instead of the 7th month, like the feast that was in Judah, and offered sacrifices on the altar. So he did at Bethel, sacrificing to the calves that he had made. And at Bethel, he installed the priests of the high places which he had made. So, in verse 33, So he made offerings on the altar which he had made at Bethel on the 15th day of the 8th month, in the month which he had devised in his own heart. And he ordained a feast for the children of Israel and offered sacrifices on the altar and burned incense. So how sad is it that Jeroboam was a man who once professed God, now, when he had become a king of the northern tribes, he revealed that his belief system was no more than complete confusion, devised in his own heart. How often does this happen in history? He replaced the living God with man-made gold carvings of an animal. He forced his people to worship them as if they were God. Have you checked your own faith in God? Are you just walking a religious walk with the Lord, or do you really know him? And when the pressure comes on you, will you simply abandon the one true eternal God for another representation of a God, maybe even an idol, perhaps an ideology or a philosophy, or will you stay true to the Lord? Um, I mean, the, he, Jeroboam invented a separate festival day. It's a little bit like we, we now celebrate, instead of God's ordained Passover and the Feast of Tabernacles, etc., we, we would devise Easter and, of course, Christmas, etc. We really need to consider coming back to the Scripture and serve the God that we, you know, the foundation of our faith. But Jeroboam did exactly that. 
And so what about you? Why don't you reaffirm your faith today in Jesus and just ask him to fortify your spirit so that you can worship him right to the very end. Well, the Lord bless you. I pray that you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, just click the subscribe button and you'll be in and uh, then you'll get notified of all the latest videos that are coming out from Good News for Israel. So until next time, I pray the Lord richly bless you. Bye for now. Thank you.